Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Selly, and I uh, wanted to show you guys, team has been hard at work. We're doing a big last minute push to get this south port right here, ready for the Lauderdale Boat Show. So let's take a quick walkthrough. If you guys are gonna come to the show, stop in and check it out. You'll notice right here up front, we've got the through hall, Luma Shore, uh, you know, full RGB color changing lights right there. And then as we go ahead and we make our way back, Instead of just doing transom lights, we've also got, let's see, tucked up, uh, yeah, you can see them right there. We've got another pair of through haul underwater lights. And then, well, back here, as you can see, we've got four SMX 153 underwater lights as well. And then, of course, if you're gonna do all the lighting, you need to do the engine cowl lighting. Now it's kind of daytime, so it's a little hard to see there. But we do have all of the engine cowling lighting from Lumashore as well. And then if we take a peek up inside before we jump on board, you can see a little bit again, it's daytime, kind of hard to tell, but we do have the Neon Flex uh, LED under gunnel lighting. And then also up here on the T-top, you can start to see the color changing up there. We have the down lights. So let's go ahead, let's hop on board, and I'm gonna show you some of the other cool stuff we've got going on for this build. It's really cool, guys. Let's check it out. All right, so as we hop on board, we're gonna stop in at the bilge area first. And you're gonna see that we've gone ahead and we have our Lumashore light controllers for all eight underwater lights. Everything's nice and labeled there. Kind of pan around, you can see the Siren Marine that this boat is equipped with. And with the Siren Marine, we're able to monitor our high water bilge, our bilge pump, our batteries, all of those kind of features. So that's all tied into the boat. And you'll be able to monitor all that remotely from your phone. So I come over here into my phone on the uh, scan strut wireless rock charger here. You can see we have the Siren Marine app up and running. So that makes it really nice. You can monitor your boat from there. So that's all set up on here. This boat also has digital switching. So we've gone ahead, we've done Empire's Bus digital switching, and you'll see we've got all of our different controls here from docking lights, and you see as things turn on and off on the uh, displays there. We can come into here and we can turn on our different pumps. We've got our freshwater pumps, our fish boxes. Everything's easy to turn on and off directly from here. We're even pulling in engine data just so we can have a different view for the engine data if we want, we have that functionality there. Now a knock, some people say with digital switching is they still wanna have a tactical switch or a tactical push button switch. Well, that's where the bokeh switches come in. You'll see here, we've got them set up. We've done a horn, we've got our nav lights, our uh, bilge pump, and we've got our light bar. So if you're running along, these displays conk out or you, you can't get to that screen quick enough, you have those tactical buttons right there. You can instantly go ahead and grab them. As we mentioned, the boat does have Lumashore lighting. So we've got our full Lumashore integration here. We've gone ahead, we've created different scenes and part of those different scenes has allowed us to come into here and we can come in and we can trigger our different scenes. As you'll notice on the boat itself, we change all the lights turn blue, all the lights turn red, um, then we've got you know all these different options. So as we turn the all blue, you'll notice our overhead lights here have turned to blue. So it's just another cool function that we have on this boat to be able to do with that Empire Bus digital switching. If you'll notice in the overhead here, this boat has a full JL audio system. It has a pair of MHD amps. We've got a 600 by four and a 900 by five. Now, what kind of speakers are we pushing with those? We've got our JL speakers right here and right there. And then if we turn around, we have them in each pillar right there. Going all the way back here, you'll see we have a 10 inch sub. This boat has a pair of 10 inch subs because, well, why not, right? And that's the other one on the other side of the leaning post right here. So works out really well. It sounds great. So you're at the helm and uh, it's, it's gonna sound great no matter where you are. And speaking of being at the helm, check out this sweet carbon fiber Edson wheel. This thing is really kind of slick. I don't know if you can get the details there in this video, but if you're gonna be driving, you might as well be comfortable while you're doing it, right? So we've got the Edson helm on here. We've got the Fusion uh, Apollo 770 amp. Everything is nicely flushed in here, as you can kind of see. Everything is just nice, clean, cut, very, very in, in, you know, it's just, it just works. It flows really good. So I think uh, that's it. That's the quick walkthrough on the Southport 30. It is going to be at the Lauderdale Boat Show. 
be sure to stop in and check it out. If you have any questions, I'm going to be wandering around the show. See me, talk to me, introduce yourself. Love to meet you guys. Maybe you're thinking about doing a project. Love to work with you. Let's talk about what we can do for you guys here, and uh, we can go from there. Until then, I think I'm going to kind of showcase the stereo and uh, see what I can do. Check it out.